Hey Leo, how are you doing? Welcome to your November reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for the month of November. See what you need to look out for, what you can expect, what is coming towards you. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. So Leo, let's see what's going on for Leo's in November 2023. The deck is ready. I'm going to start off with some oracle cards. We have Geo the Slow along with the Lady of Harvest. Lady of the Harvest. I can't speak, y'all. <laughs> so there's something. Let me shut up for a second. What's going on for Leo? Thank you. Bears of the future. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Topsy turvies at the bottom. You're like, what is she talking about? So leo there has been a cycle that you've been going through and the ending has been taking a long time it's like there's been something dragged out um something's been dragged out so there's been taking a really long time to complete or it just feels like you've been in the waiting room waiting for your name to get called waiting for the results waiting anticipating and just kind of being like when is it coming um some of you you're actually kind of happy about how long this has been taking some of you are actually like okay i, I want to just soak it in i just want to appreciate like let's just say like if you're on a holiday you're like i want to enjoy every little second of this i don't want to go back home just yet others of you it's like this could be a really challenging time that you've been going through You're like i want this done asap like holy crap when is this cycle over you know some of you is like you don't want this cycle to end it's bitter it's bittersweet and some of you are like i cannot wait for this cycle to come to an end i cannot wait for this ending i cannot wait to leave i can't <laughs> lady of the harvest this is talking about harvesting of your efforts um lessons have been learned it's about releasing it's the natural cycle of life you're going through a certain cycle that is coming to an end it's been a long time coming with geo the slow like this is a very 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 slow kind of energy so this has been taking place for you for probably a couple months for some could even be years like a year years and years and years a cycle that's been slowly unfolding i feel like you're finding a solution though in november there's like if you if you've been dealing with some sort of issue and you're like trying to figure out how to get out of a situation i feel like you're finding um answers or solutions okay um, we have fairies of the future. Okay, so spirit is really wanting to let you know that things are going to change very quickly, very soon for you. Things have been moving very, very slowly. That's what's going to change, especially as we just went through the eclipse season. We're finally out of the eclipse season. We're heading into a new cycle. Um, these next six months are going to be very powerful and can bring in a lot of change and this is time to really like look forwards to what's next the new new opportunities new experiences new relationships just new 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 right it's time you've been clearing out the old you've been doing decluttering you've been releasing you've been healing you've been clearing things out that just don't really serve you anymore Take that as confirmation my dog barking things that you have to just release maybe you're needing to vocalize something maybe you're needing to like <sighs> sorry about that that's very distracting <laughs> anyways y'all with fairies of the future this does talk about like first of all be here now be in the present try your best to just be in the moment try not to overthink what the next thing is going to be or you know get in your head get all anxious get all nervous or looking back at what happened in your past and be like oh my god like i wish i didn't do this or i should have done this 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 and that or oh my god that took me way too long or you know it is what it is it wasn't wasted i don't know who needs to hear that some of you feel like oh that was all just a waste but it wasn't you know you're like oh that took too long or it's too late now it's not it's not too late there's divine timing that's at play here you got to remind yourself that you don't need a rush spirit doesn't want you to rush and i don't think that rushing is gonna be like the solution it's just like you kind of have to slowly just let something fade out that's kind of what it feels is like there's a transition of a season you're going from summer to fall or fall to winter like winter to spring it kind of feels like you're heading into spring <laughs> so we have the topsy turvets at the bottom 
this indicates that you have the ability to turn a situation around this can talk about like you know something doing like a 180 degree flip so things have been real slow real stagnant you've been feeling kind of stuck well that's about to pick up like that's literally fairies of the future is fast-paced energy it's about being ready to go and ready to adapt and ready to move on and this geo the slow is more of like kind of the opposite energy so you notice that there's like a flip there's like a switch um so let's pull some animal cards let's see what else is going on for you in november and get some more insight as to what could be taking place what you can expect <sighs> show me clearly what's going on for leo in november 2023 what do my leos need to know so clearly what's going on for leo in november Okay, this deck's ready. What do my Leos need to know for the month of November 2023? Show me clearly. What does Leo need to know? Okay, well, here we have it. Spider with the oyster with the dolphin. Yeah, see, something's took a while to open up. Or it's in the process of unlocking. There's a new chapter, new door, new level that's unlocking for you. Yeah, we have the whale, the deer, the lamb. Yeah, definitely new energy on the horizon. But again, the spider, spider's a slower pace energy. Or like, there is a whole like unfolding of events that have been taking place. And you may not be like fully understanding of why some things have happened. Or maybe there's still some unfinished business. Or maybe there's still some like plot holes. And you're like, well, what the hell was the point of that all about? Or what was that supposed to teach me? Or what was that? supposed to like what was the relevance of that experience or that situation um there will be more to come okay you will get answers just continue to keep following the path now you do have choices you do have options you do have some important decisions to make but you can always change your mind you don't have to you know <laughs> get all freaked out about being all committed and stuff like you know you can always turn around but this is again like practicing patience and i know you probably don't want to hear that but i mean you guys have you have a lot of patience whatever it is that you've been going through with geo and the slow and lady of the harvest like you have a lot of patience you've been patient this is where things are gonna shift for you though i think it's time for you to actually get up and start moving instead of waiting because with the oyster this can represent an energy of feeling closed off, feeling um, like something's off limits, out of reach, um, feeling a bit of a block as well. Maybe there's hesitation to stepping out of your comfort zone. But this is that, that, that little saying, the world is your oyster. It really is. And it feels here with the dolphin, your whole world is about to open up. Okay? It's going to open up. Oh my god, there's so many distractions right now. I'm hearing like doors slamming, closing, dog is barking. Maybe you're dealing with some distractions or setbacks or just like delays, you know? Delays. Like even like Geo the Slow could be representing things in your life where you're feeling like delayed. You know, you you book a flight, get to the airport, go through security, check in your bags, and then you're like, oh my god, I have like 30 minutes, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh shit. I got a five hour delay. Oh, okay. You know, sometimes things like that just happen for a divine plan, a divine reason. There's divine timing at play, but it can be annoying for sure. But the dolphin is really like a blessed energy. It talks about fulfillment. It talks about joy, celebration. There is such like positive energy that's going to be kind of like overwhelming. It feels like there's this inspiration again like life feels very colorful and exciting and there feels like adventure is around the corner i feel that this is a time november would be a great time for you to really get out there to be seen to put yourself out there in the world like and what however that might fit for you whether that's you putting yourself in the business putting yourself in, out there in the dating world taking up some new classes like just going out of your comfort zone and exploring and experiencing life in a way you haven't before um spirit is wanting you to like dive deep and explore the the depths of the unknown 
Ooh, okay. I like that. Explore the depths of the unknown, really taking a leap of faith and trusting yourself while doing so. We also have the deer underneath that and the lamb. And then the gazelle. See, like there's this overthinking kind of energy where it's like you kind of are having a hard time trusting your intuition, owl. But like you got to just trust your instincts. You got to just trust that inner gut. You got to trust your inner voice. It's leading you to a new beginning, Leo. And it's, I feel like a lot of you have been just kind of waiting, you know, with a spider waiting to just catch your prey, waiting for things to come towards you. You know, spiders, they can sit still for freaking ever. Like, <laughs> they, you know, spiders, they, they obviously they'd be spinning their webs and shit, but then once they're done spinning their web, they're not very active. At least from what I've seen, what I've noticed, I'm like, what's that spider doing over there? Better stay there. And like, I'll come back a few hours later and it's still in the exact same spot. It hasn't moved unless, you know, a, a fly, a bug goes into its web, right? So it's kind of like you're waiting for a sign. Some of you have been waiting for a sign or you're waiting for the opportunity to come towards you. But I feel like you're in need to create the opportunity instead of waiting. Because I think a lot of you have been just like in this like waiting, waiting, waiting for things to come your way, waiting for the opportunity, waiting for the invitation. And I feel that like you're needing to kind of switch up your approach and like do things differently. If you've been, I'm not saying everybody has been waiting, but if you have, this would be a message saying it's time to go. It's t time to go, time to open up this door, time to take action um instead of waiting for things that come towards you okay um but let, let's see we'll pull some tarot cards let's see what the tarot has to say um but again i feel like i feel like if you have been itching for a change if you've been itching for something new then this is your sign to just go for it to take that leap of faith to take that jump so let's let's see what spirit has to say about this so leo sun moon rising venus in november some of you it's like you've been trying to convince yourself like you're not ready with lady of the harvest you're just feeling still maybe a bit attached to some things from your past you've been kind of like feeling like you're not not prepared that's fair that makes sense but at the same time it's like if you're wanting new if you're wanting more if you're wanting a change then that's going to come down to you right Whenever you're ready, Leo, that's when you can go. It's kind of like, you know, you get in your car, you turn it on. If it's cold, you put on the heater, you wait for everything to warm up, right? You don't, you decide when you're ready to hit the road. Whenever you're ready to hit the road, it's your call, Leo. But let's see what Spirit has to say. Obviously, like I said, it feels like there could be some divine timing too. It's like, yeah, I am ready to hit the road, but I keep getting like a flat tire. I ran out of gas or, you know, construction. I have to slow down. It's like, okay, see? So there could be some external influences, but it's redirection. For some, if you're experiencing that, that's just redirection and to trust the process. And it looks like in November, traffic is going to kind of clear out. You're going to be smooth sailing. For others, you just got to, take that next step and push yourself out of your comfort zone so you decide how this resonates if it resonates what's going on for leo in november what do my leos need to know two of cups some of you there is a important connection here someone that you either know currently some of you this could be representing somebody new let me see what's at the bottom king of cups three of swords is there some hurt knight of cups are you feeling hurt you feeling a little blue? What's going on? So there's there's definitely something about a connect. Maybe there's something moving very slow. Or again, maybe this is tying into Lady of the Harvest. Some of you are having a hard time putting yourself back out there because you feel unready or you're still having a hard time moving on from somebody here because we have the King of Cups, the Three of Swords. So it's like, yeah, there's some hurt. There's some wounding. We have the Knight of Cups underneath that indicating like, yeah, you have new love coming in. But you may not feel like you're ready for that or, you know, it's a fresh wound. So that's that's totally understandable underneath that. Four of Swords, you may still feel like you have to heal a little bit more or you're extremely like protective over yourself. There could be someone that you're connecting to who is hurting at the moment. Maybe if they're kind of, you know, withdrawn or MIA or maybe you could be withdrawn or MIA. But this Four of Swords can sometimes talk about someone who's distant or withdrawn or, you know, kind of on their own. 
there could be someone here that either you're dealing with or yourself that's in pain so it could be representing this whole kind of closed off oyster vibe all right tell me more what's going on for leo in november what do my leos need to know we have the knight of wands we also have the two of wands reverse so there's someone here this could be you leo because it is fire energy two of two twos by the way so choices to be made there's someone here who's having doubts or questioning some sort of action to take or questioning the next step questioning the next move questioning where are things going especially if this is involving a relationship you're like where are things going between us you know knight of wands he's not typically the most like reliable or the most dependable or the most like stable or committed he kind of comes and goes as he wants it's kind of a fleeting energy when we we're talking about like in a relationship the knight of wands can definitely be someone who you know likes to have a good time but and has fun and stuff but when it comes to like the seriousness and like responsibilities and stuff they kind of will fall short or they may you know there could be this knight of wands person if this is you leo this could be about having doubts about making a further commitment or further investment if it's not about a relationship like a, there's hesitation to like invest more of your heart or your time or your energy or your money so you're kind of indecisive or you're feeling kind of like puzzled about again where are things going in this direction because things are moving either really slow maybe there's some things that need to be released you know thinking a lot about the future what's going to happen where am i going to be six months from now a year from now 10 years from now like there's a lot of like trying to think trying to there's a lot of overthinking page of swords at the bottom so perhaps there will be some sort of information or news or conversations to be had um let's see what's underneath this page of swords and knight of swords there's like a lot of like mind that's racing like your mind could be racing like lots of thoughts lots of just like oh like scattered brain <laughs> scattered brain there's just like a lot uh you're not you're thinking a lot about the future you think a lot about the past you think a lot about right here right now you're just like all over the place now i do think that there will be some sort of like communication here yeah even you're like looking back at the past like i just said six of cups um there could be something from your past come oh knight of pentacles see things are moving really slow we have a lot of knight energy um let's just get some more show me more show me more what's going on for leo in november maybe you're having a difficult time like opening up or sharing your vulnerability or expressing your emotions or someone could be or it takes someone a long time to feel safe enough to be vulnerable or to let down your guard all right, show me clearly what's going on for Leo in November. Thank you. Three of Pentacles. So, you know, there is progress being made. Like, there is. There is. It's slow. It's steady. It's consistent, though. There's starting to be more consistency. There's starting to be more growth. Again, there's no need to rush. Whatever this is that's being built or is developing, there's no need to rush. But see, at the bottom, we have the Seven of Cups. It's like, maybe there's just like a lot going on. You are, There's a lot of things that you're working on in November. You're working on yourself. You're working um, towards building more stability financially, physically, you know, working on a lot of different things, projects, building something, creating projects, arts, music. This could be representing, you know, some sort of investment. Some of you, you're studying or you're back in school or, you know, you're working on making some sort of improvement. That seven of cups is like you got a lot on your plate here. There's a lot that's going down. <laughs> and so it was like maybe you're losing focus at times or you're just like feeling overwhelmed and then you get procrastination. Maybe you're like, oh, my God, there's so much to do. Where do I begin? I don't know. So then you just don't do any of it <laughs> or you do like the bare minimum. <sighs> Y'all. You know, maybe you're kind of questioning, is this worth the energy or should I continue to keep putting effort to this, this thing, fill in the blank, whatever this is. You're maybe questioning, like, is it worth it? Is this going anywhere? Seven of Cups underneath that, the Page of Pentacles and the Justice card. So you do have a vision. There is a vision or spirit is saying, like, get clear with what your intentions are and what are you looking for? What do you desire to have? Ten of Cups, that's what you desire. Happy home, happy life. Some of you could be starting up a like home business or collaborating with people. Maybe it's a family business for some. 
All right, tell me more. What's going on for Leo in November? That's too many. What's going on for Leo in November? Thank you. Hierophant reverse. So there's something that you could be... We also have the Four of Pentacles. You could be holding back from... So there's something you're, you need to face your fear here, Leo. You have to face some sort of fear. But I see you resisting that. Or I see you kind of blocking yourself from taking the risk or taking the risky road queen of swords you need more answers you need more facts you need you're gonna need some discipline here we also have the nine of cups you're having a hard time seeing if this is gonna work out like yeah you two of pentacles to the nine of cups you're like questioning do i really want this does this fulfill me does this you're questioning a lot like you're just you people you got all these twos in your reading you're just going back and forth you're like questioning you know whether or not something is for you and that hierophant reverse this is taurus energy if you're dealing with a taurus or you got any taurian placements but the hierophant reverse especially in this deck this talks about going against the grain this talks about taking the path you wouldn't typically go down this is about doing things very differently than you used to or than you would have so if you would have again going back to those who if you would just kind of wait for the opportunity to fall into your lap you know kind of wait like the spider and wait for the bug to fly into your your web <laughs> instead of waiting for the bug to fly into your web the spider's gonna go on the hunt <laughs> which is not what a spider would do right a spider wouldn't be hunting for a fly but in a way it's like you got to do something different or out of your there's some sort of need for you to go about this a different way now hierophant reverse for some this just giving alternate ways we could read this hierophant reverse can talk about separation it could talk about splits maybe ending of contracts maybe divorce for some of you um sometimes hierophant reverse can talk about those things maybe this can be indicating like you know you not listening to your intuition or ignoring your gut instincts or the lessons from your past but really in this deck specifically it just talk about like taking the non-traditional path um you know black sheep kind of energy people may not support you or people may not fully understand where you're coming from or your vision but don't let that you know distract you or steer you off your course um you gotta do what's best for you right so let's just see um let's do a little bit of clarifying here because there's like a lot yeah like there if there's a connection if there's a relationship here it's like it's non-traditional or it's like not like your usual type of connection or there's something about this that's that's why you're kind of questioning this or if this is again like a job or some sort of personal goal it's like it's just different something about it is just different and because it's different and because it's taken a while to all come together you're questioning or you're having wonders if this is gonna go somewhere so we'll see is it first of all let me just see what this two of cups is about what, what do we need to know about this two of cups show me clearly why is the two of cups here for leo ace of swords so i see you getting clarity on this connection i do feel that there's going to be a lot of honest truths being expressed we have the four pentacles underneath we're going to pull some more but i do feel as if there's been like resistance or someone's been holding back how they really feel or what they really are thinking so that's going to be expressed you may need to express that leo or there's someone oh my god that four pentacles tried flipping out again what's underneath the four pentacles three of pentacles okay see double confirmation we'll clarify that three of pentacles there needs to be more if this is in like again some sort of connection relationship even partnership there needs to be more like mutual effort teamwork even maybe someone's been slacking off a little bit or not putting as much of a focus as the other so maybe it's a bit unrequited tell me more about this two of cups for leo chariot nice tell me more about this two cups you could be dealing with the cancer we got cancerian energy popping up what do we got the page of swords yeah so i think that there and then we have the two of swords you've had all the two show up in this reading so choices to be made here judgment and the five of cups underneath the two of swords it's like you may have to make a choice 
that's difficult. It could be a head over heart decision. This choice might result in some sort of like sadness or even loss or it's like doing the right thing even though you know it's going to hurt. That's not for everybody, okay? But yeah, some of you is like with the emperor and judgment, it's like you're going to have to make a hard call here. And as much as your heart is saying one thing, your mind knows the facts or knows what must be done. Um, so anyways, whatever. I see like an honest conversation going down and it's going to determine where things are going, whether or not this is worth the effort, whether or not there is a future here. Again, if this is in a relationship, if this is your job, if this is someone that you are friends with, this if this could be like a family member, but I'm seeing that there's going to be some sort of breakthrough or well there's going to be clarity there's going to be answers there's going to be some truth to be expressed truth to be said truth to be known and it's going to create change pretty drastic change okay going back to that fairies of the future things are going to change quite drastically from this so oh what was that just flipped on out what do we got the lovers so this is gemini energy if you're dealing with a gemini this is representing again that there are contracts cosmic contracts between you and whoever you're dealing with this could be a soulmate of yours now i think we got many soulmates there's like billions of people on the freaking planet you know i think that there's probably many out there but whoever it is that you are dealing with they are definitely someone you were meant to cross paths with you guys are here to meet and know each other and serve certain purposes certain lessons in each other's lives for a reason um and who's to say that the cycle isn't over it's just there's could be some sort of change or transition taking place some sort of shift in this dynamic between who you and whoever you're dealing with but um i see that there's kind of like pros and cons to stay or to leave or you know like they're it's up in the air it's really like 50 50 i'm feeling anyways let's take a look into um the three of pentacles because that came out twice so let's see three of pentacles to the hierophant reverse what's this about so it's like maybe again remember what i said is like i think you could be finding some sort of solution to whatever this is or maybe you're having some sort of, again there's breakthrough energy for sure but what exactly is this three of pentacles with the hierophant reversed Page, oh my god page of cups okay seeing improvements in communication for sure definitely 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 um and then we also have the page of pentacles you guys got a lot of pages that have been showing up in this reading pages and knights we've had like all the pages come out i think no not pa we didn't do the page of wands we have the knot of swords so it shows that you've been like overthinking or you've been really stressing um, whether or not to leave, whether or not to walk away, whether or not you should stay. We also have the star underneath the eight of cups and the lover. See, like, because you've been hoping and wishing that things will change or that someone will change or that you will change or the situation, the dynamics will change. Um, and you're kind of like at this place where it's like, if it's not going to change, then you got to go. So you could be kind of like, not a sword, you're in your head, you're stressing, tossless, I mean, tossing around, sleepless nights, that kind of stuff. You get me? That's that nine of swords, overthinking, overanalyzing every single thing, every single step. But I think that, because this is all going on internally in your head, I think that's what's needing to be expressed or shared so that everybody is getting on the same page. So everybody understands where you're at, where they're at, and then figuring out what to do moving forwards. Because I think that there's a lot of like gaps to be filled. There's a lot that's being lost in translation and, you know, then the mind wanders. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles Hierophant Reverse for Leo. Anything else you got to add to this? Okay, Seven of Swords Reversed. There's something being revealed here. There's Everything's out in the open. There's no secrets. Tell me more. Ooh. Three of Cups. So there could be multiple people involved. This could be in a friendship circle or family. Hierophant. Hmm, judgment, wheel of fortune, the seven of pentacles. Okay, so again, the change is definitely inevitable. Change that you've been sitting thinking about for a while now. I think November is going to be the month where this change comes to fruition. Again, it's been a long time coming. It's been a process. But I do feel you'll be quite pleased with however the things 
however things shift, however things change. With the Hierophant and the Three of Cups, I do feel that whoever's involved, everybody's going to end up happy. It's like a win-win outcome. Um, Seven of Swords in the reverse here. Can I clarify that real quick? And then we got to let you go. Oh, oops. Why, why is the Seven of Swords in the reverse? What's this Seven of Swords reverse about for Leo in November? This deck is ready. Turn with the Seven of Swords reverse. Can you please clarify why this is here? Five of Swords. Somebody feels hurt or it could be holding some resentment or hurt, you know, carrying some pain. Feeling a bit bitter. Ace of Wands. Feeling ignored. I don't know. This could also be about, like, we also have the Prince of Cups, Emperor, Fool. I see, like, a brand, I do see that this is connected to a new beginning or a fresh new start, but I do wonder, feels like, sorry, guys, <laughs> I almost dropped the card, I almost dropped it, but I, I didn't. <sighs> there's still some things that need to be worked through or need to be expressed and this is relating to whatever happened in your past in this situation in this connection relationship partnership there's some things grudges maybe or some unresolved feelings unresolved issues that's what's needing to be dealt with here and if it's dealt with i see that this makes room for a clean fresh slate all right maybe it's not what you had expected it's going to be different than what it was like in the past but it's an opportunity for renewal all right i do see that there's opportunity for renewal so ball is in your court if you want to take this leap of faith with the emperor to the fool we got aries and leo energy um but yeah so i think i'm going to leave your reading here we've been talking for too long <laughs> But I hope that this is helpful and insightful. I appreciate you, Leo. Thank you for your love and your support. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. Take care. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.